Because we don't know what our beliefs are. Where did you get your beliefs from? Conscious mind, 15 inches. Subconscious mind, 11 miles. What we are going to do now, which is called going into your subconscious mind and changing the beliefs that you have about yourself. So, if you really look at it, what you are seeing in me and in yourself is the behavior that you are doing and the results that come from that behavior. What do we see? We see people's behavior and the results that come from the behavior. Now, you are seeing my behavior. Okay, but you are not seeing what I am thinking. You are not seeing what my emotions are. You can maybe feel it, but you don't really know. Alright? But my behavior is coming because of my emotions and thinking. So if I am scared to talk to you, my behavior is going to be different. Today, uh, I came to talk to you uh, about uh, how to speak uh, con confidently uh, in, in, in front of an uh, uh, audience. Uh, I think you will uh, in, in, in enjoy this uh, session uh, because, you know, it will be very uh, good for you. Uh, <laughs> so then, if my emotions and my thinking is, I can't do this, the result might be like that. Okay? Now, where is my thinking and emotions coming from? It's coming from the values and the beliefs that I have. 95% of your thoughts are automatic, which is they are purely just coming from your beliefs. So, Sisira, when you went and saw chicken pastry, what did you think? Did you get tempted? Chicken, right? Why is that? Automatic thought. As soon as you saw chicken pastry, she said immediately thought, no, I don't eat chicken. Go to the next one. Actually, you didn't even consciously think, did you stop at the chicken pastry and think, chicken, mama, kanwade, nad, kanwade, nad. Did you think like that? No. Why is that? Automatic thought coming from the belief that she has, which is, I don't eat chicken. Correct? Now, conscious thought would be, Sisera comes to the chicken pastry and thinks, chicken. Do I eat chicken? No, I am a vegetarian. No, therefore I don't eat chicken. Therefore I will not take this. Kela. Was it like that? No. Yeah. So that's automatic thoughts, right? 95% is automatic thoughts. Are you all understanding what I am saying? That's why it's actually very, very difficult sometimes because we don't know what our beliefs are. We don't know what our values are, but we are basically acting on autopilot based on our beliefs and values. In order to change our beliefs, which is there, can you see how low the beliefs are? This is the iceberg where beliefs are below even the iceberg, right? Where are they? Where did you get your beliefs from? Religion. Where did you get your religion from? Family. Are you a Buddhist? Why are you a Buddhist? Because your parents are Buddhist. 99.9% .9 of the time, you are following a certain religion. Why? Because your parents follow that religion. You go and ask your parents, why are they following that religion? They will tell you, because my parents follow that. Very rarely will you find someone who says, why are you following this religion? Ah, because I have found that it is the, you know, the one, the correct religion for me. Most of the time, why are we doing something? Because that's the way our parents did. Right? Or that's the way our families did. Or that's the way our teachers told us. Or that's the way the society is working. So when you were a small child, if your mother showed you this pen and said, this is black. This is black. You would believe that it is black. So you don't know. Amma ke ande hari vendu one. Right? So this is black. Are we understanding? 
we would tend to believe that. So we are getting our beliefs. We, are, we don't know where those beliefs are coming from also, right? I'll tell you. See, I got a belief from my father when I was a teenager that you should never trust the short person. Don't trust the short person. Because short people will, you know, play you out or, you know, they are not honest or whatever. Don't trust the short person. With apologies to all the <laughs> not very tall people in the room. So, for a long time, I also believed this. Why? Father is saying no. Must be right. <laughs> then at one point, I realized this can't be correct because some of my best friends are short. Some of my best teachers are short. Some of the people who are helping me the most are short. So, it can't be correct. I challenged it and I changed my belief. But lots of times, we just take the belief and we are going with it, right? Why? Because somebody gave that belief to us. Most babies, not most babies, all babies, all babies are able to swim. You take the baby and put them into the pool, they swim. Because they don't know that they can't swim. Therefore, they will swim. We get our fear of water from whom? Parents. If you are going near the water as a child and, and mother, says, you don't, 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 you fall in. When the Baba hmm? <laughs> Mother is saying, it's dangerous. Ha, ah, really? So, that's where the beliefs are coming from. Right. So, we have this guy. Do you know him? Yeah, he's called a genie. Have you read the, the story about Aladdin? Aladdin's magic lamp, he rubbed the lamp and this fellow comes out and says, what do you want? Mang then nang. What do you want? Indiga? I'll give you. So, this genie is basically our subconscious mind. That's the conscious mind above the iceberg. This is the subconscious mind. Well, it's the iceberg below the water. <laughs> right? As a comparison, just for you to know how big is your subconscious compared to your conscious, if your conscious mind is 15 inches, subconscious mind is 11 miles. Can you see the difference? So, what is bigger? Subconscious mind. Conscious mind 15 inches. Subconscious mind 11 miles. So, conscious mind is 15 inches, can you? Something like this, right? What is 11? Where is 11 miles from here? We are in Colombo 2. Let's say between Motor and Pandu, right? Imagine that. 15 inches conscious mind is here. Subconscious mind from here to Pandu. That's how powerful it is, right? Your subconscious mind can heal you. Actually, we are talking of Dr. Anuruddhika healing people. Actually, she doesn't heal. Your body heals. What does the doctor do? Doctor clears the path for healing to happen. Doctor doesn't do the healing. Body does the healing. Subconscious mind does the healing. Yeah. Doctor clears the path. So healing can happen. Yeah.